Hey, 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 family, it's your girl, Evelyn of The Evelyn Inc. And I am back with another video, obviously. Like, okay, random question. Why do we say that? Because clearly I'm back with another video. I, I do it too. I don't even mind what other people say it, but it's kind of like, it's kind of Captain Obvious. I don't know, let me get to the point. So I'm back with another, what I like to call, chatty Kathy just a thought videos so I recently have developed a new morning routine right and it's been amazing um one of the things that I have struggled with for some time which is is lessening significantly now in my life because I have put the systems in place is like low-grade anxiety like you know you can have like a low-grade fever so um, for as far back as I can remember, I, I had consistent low grade anxiety and then with spikes of anxiety. Anyway, that's not even the point of this video, but implementing a new, um, more curated morning routine, um, and evening routine has, has been doing wonders for me. And I had to really, I, you know, there's a lot of, um, suggestions online and in books about um, what you go into your ideal morning routine and people have got their morning routine videos and I think oh that's great I think it's great for inspiration um I didn't find any of it helpful um <laughs> I had to really sit down and kind of curate based on me my lifestyle what I need um what I have a tendency to struggle with how to create a morning routine anyway this video is not about that Okay, but it leads me to the point of this video. So one morning in that morning routine, part of my morning routine is I allow myself time for my mind to just think. Um, kind of the opposite of meditation, you know, meditation is you want to quiet your mind. Um, for me, I, I'm a, I'm a, I, I like biblical meditation. I do prayer. I also feel like prayer is conversational, which is, you know, you can talk to God, but you also need to zip in and listen as well um but then there's some times where i just want to be with my thoughts so in a previous video i talked about um loving yourself through your own love language um i don't know why i did that i was looking for something anyway and so part of my morning routine is allowing myself to um have those conversations with myself and so something very interesting came to me as I was just sitting there and having my quiet time and I, I immediately picked up my phone and like opened up the notes app and I wanted to jot it down like I couldn't even get to my journal fast enough like I was like I need to get this thought written down and so I thought I would share it with you um in video form so again not like five ways to do this and three ways to do that I'm really enjoying more conversational style videos let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying these and I hope that you guys are finding these useful I hope that you're sharing them with other women that would find them valuable or useful or something to reflect on or maybe something to journal about just you know just things to ponder and pontificate on okay all right so I had this notion about spring cleaning your life and the reason why this thought came to my head is because in Texas our winters are very short um it's like what is today march the third march the fourth it's early and it's basically spring like winter is over it like it came for a hot second and then it was like girl i'm out i gotta go who all over there and spring was like what's up i'm basically pulling up early and so i you know i thought about this notion of spring cleaning right and so i was thinking about how um when it comes to my goals i you know i use a goal tracker and that for whatever reason, every year, it always feels like I'm dragging myself through January and February when it comes to my goals. And then usually by like March, I'm like in full stride, like I'm hitting that thing, like I'm an Olympic runner. And I was like, I wonder why that is. And so um, I've had this conversation with a friend before, and it's the notion of like growing with the seasons versus against the seasons. And when you really think about it, spring is like, from a agricultural perspective, spring is the new birth. It's the new flowers, the new crops, the, the trees are starting to bud again. Yet we are deeming a new season 
in the middle of the winter. And so um, I thought about that. And I thought about how biblically God uses a lot of agricultural references. And so for me, I was like, why am I fighting against nature? I really want to grow with the seasons. And so instead of trying to force myself to start anew when the planet is in a season of killing off things <laughs> or hibernating things that I would allow myself to ebb and flow with the seasons versus just the calendar year. Um, it's just something to consider. And let me know if you can relate about it feeling like, you know, you you want to be ready in January and February, but it isn't until March that you're like, all right, let's do this thing. And so, um, and I really started to think about, okay, if, if that's happening with me just energe energetically for the spring, what else is happening to me in the other season? So I thought about this, right? So I was, as I was in the bed doing my morning routine on my phone, and I'm looking at my phone for the notes, just FYI, um, I realized that like in the winter, things typically die off of me. Um, so whether that is lack of discipline, procrastination, um, unhealthy eating habits, I tend to fast more in the winter time, um, perfectionism, um, being passive in certain areas of my life. The reality is that even the way I function is aligning with nature's seasons and so I was like I think I just want to lean into that like I don't want to resist that I don't want to try to go against that like why go against the 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 is it the tide the wave I don't know I grew up in the midwest we had grass and plains um but why oh current why go against the current when I can flow with it um, you know, I think I told you before, you know, I've been shouting out lots of women that I enjoy following Yaya Smith, um, you know, creator of the feminine success movement. And she talks a lot about being in flow. And I'm not talking about this woo woo wee flow that people just, you know, are like kind of weird and you be like, I what you into kind of flow. But she just like that, you know, women, we, we're watery, we're, we flow. And so I realized I was like, I was doing all of this against the grain, against the flow, against the current versus leaning into that, you know, my new year energy probably should be um, reserved for the new year agriculturally when things are um when things are picking up when things are blossoming and starting to bloom and and things are starting to germinate versus um the other way around and so i even started to think about it in the summer like things are full swing right and i'm like yes that's when that's when my life be in full swing and then things start to slow down in the fall and then things start to um, you know, fall off and hibernate in the winter. And I think about it, as humans, we do the same thing as far as socially wise, but I also was like in my business and in things that I want to accomplish in my life goals that I really want to go with the seasons versus against it. And, and the way this ties into the whole curated versus collected is I collected the thought that starting a new had to start at the new year. Some people have already gotten with this. They start anew on their birthday or they start anew at a different point because it's more significant to them. Well, my birthday is right at the beginning of the year. My birthday is one week to the day after New Year's, right? So, I've, I, you know, that, that never has resonated with me because I'm like, it still feels like I'm forcing it. And so for those of you who maybe we don't have a spring birthday or a summer birthday, or maybe you don't even celebrate birthdays, or um, you you just wonder why year after year it's like man I like it, it I'm trying to get going in January and February and I don't really seem to hit my stride until like March or April. Maybe you're going against the current, and so maybe you get to choose. Maybe you get to curate the thought that you can go and flow with the seasons, and you don't have to collect the thought that you have to go and flow with the calendar year. So, um, and I and I will tell you, it has been freeing. It has relieved a lot of stress and it's also going to make me restructure the way I do some things in my life. Um, and so I like, I'm, ex I'm, ex I'm excited about it. Um, so let me know in the comments below if this was helpful. Not a super, super long video. I mean, it may be when I look at the time, y'all know I'm chatty McCathy. 
Um, I hope you follow me on Instagram. And also, part of my morning routine is I'm reading. So let me know if you want me to do some book reviews. As of today, I think today is March the 4th. What is today? I don't know. March the 3rd, March the 4th. I've already read four or five books this year. Um, So if you would like me to go through and do that, I think that would be pretty fun. I am still putting the touches together on the community that I'm creating for those of us who want to do this kind of work together collectively in community, but go deeper than what a 10 minute, 12 minute YouTube video can do. Um, because we're really into being intentional with our lives, our relationships, our businesses, our health, our, our family, ourselves, our self care. And, um, we're all about curating those things, finding our personal flavor and curating those things. And so I've dropped the collected idea that, um, my new year has to start with the calendar year for me and that I'm collect I'm 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 so I dropped that collected idea and I'm curating the idea that I flow better with the seasons. So that's it. I will see you in my next video. Peace.